You don't find as many diehard, hardcore Major League Baseball fans anymore, but you do find some people that really latch on to their team and they're hardcore about their team, if not about the whole sport. Justin Feldkamp, one of those guys. ABC 13's weekend sports anchor, reporter, co-host of Football Friday. He is a diehard Cincinnati Reds fan, so we brought Justin on with the opportunity to talk about the Cincinnati Reds. Does the stolen base swiper extraordinaire Billy Hamilton make an appearance this season? We'll find out. Johnny Cueto or Raldis Chapman either up for Cy Young? In Justin's opinion, we'll find out. And are the Reds long-term future perennial playoff contenders for the time being? Justin shares his thoughts on all that and then some on the Sports Buffet podcast. Talking a little Major League Baseball real quick with Justin Felkamp here of ABC 13 Sports. Before we get into the uh, Cincinnati Reds, well, real quick, a little inside joke. Is Brandon Phillips okay, or is he still being held hostage at the station? He's still, he's still being held hostage. We'll see if I can rescue him later today. Uh, Bra- Brandon Phillips and the Reds are... Uh, Phillies have gotten him a couple times here in the past few days. Uh, has a Reds fan, do you worry about this team at all as we head towards October? Um, I don't necessarily think worry is the right word. Uh, two years ago when they went to the playoffs, they... Um, lost to the Phillies in three straight, and it was kind of more attributable to the fact that they didn't play good throughout the entire season against good and great teams. The Reds beat up on the teams that they should have beat up on, but then they didn't play well at all against the playoff-caliber teams. That has changed this year. The rotation's better, the bullpen's better, the offense can be better based on how... Ryan Love does, how Todd Frazier does, but I think that fact alone that they're playing better against the better teams uh, should spell good things in the playoffs, and obviously nothing's clinched yet, but uh, I think it is safe to say hopefully that the Reds will be in the playoffs and they can get advantage with the fact that they got an extra playoff team this year at one round where you know, there's going to be teams fighting for that final spot, and then once they get that final spot, they're going to have to play another one-game playoff, so you could see pitching staff being somewhat depleted. So those teams who won their division, you're going to be throwing your number one starter against potentially uh, definitely a number two starter, possibly a number three starter, and depending on how your end of the regular season works out, I mean, there's a chance that a number one starter could be going up against a number four starter in those situations. Should the Cy Young winner out of the National League come from Cincinnati? Unbiased opinion, please. Um, I would say, as a Red, you know, you want to play the game where the season ended now. Right. I'd say yes. Uh, there's a what, three-way tie, I think. Gio Gonzalez might have gotten win number 18 last night, but uh, Cueto, Johnny Cueto's got 17 wins. R.A. Dickey's got 17 wins with the Mets. But uh, Johnny Cueto's ERA is lower than all those guys. And uh, if he's got, I think, four more starts, and if he can... I'd say get three of those. I think a magic number in the minds of some baseball writers is 20 wins. So if any of those guys are less than 20, and Cueto's got 20, I think it should be uh, not a definite, but at least uh, a good favor for Cueto to get that award. And the final question, and for people who don't follow baseball very closely, you know, uh, Mike Trout and Steven Str- or Mike Trout and Bryce Harper were probably two of the best guys that were playing in the minor leagues that are now up in the big leagues, but one of the most exciting now that still is not uh, gracing your television screens on a daily basis is uh, Billy Hamilton for the Reds. He set the all-time uh, minor league stolen base record with an ungodly number of steals. I believe it was uh, over 140, but uh, talk a little bit about do we see Billy Hamilton up in September just running around on the bases? Yeah, I don't know. It was actually 150-plus. I know it was definitely 150. I don't know if he had a couple more there at the end of the season, but so far, the Reds have not pulled him up. Um, the, kind of, the, the caveat of that situation is they would have to kind of use an option so they don't have to, they wouldn't have to burn it, basically. Right. Kind of like a red shirt kind of deal if you want to equate it to a college situation. But um, they have not called him up yet. There's a potential that they could later on. He's slated to play in the Arizona Fall League. Um, and he was listed as an outfielder in that fall league and he's been a shortstop through his minor league career so far but the Reds kind of have an infield that's solidified right now and, and for the foreseeable future so they're thinking that they could possibly use him and his speed out the outfield so it'll be interesting to see if he can make that transition from infielder to outfielder here and there in the fall league but I mean he lights up the base pass I was fortunate enough to be down at the Carolina-California League All-Star game 
game earlier this summer, and he, of course, played for the Bakersfield Blaze, the high-A team out in the California League. He has since been moved up to double-A Pensacola and probably going to start in triple-A next year, possibly make the, make the big league team. But um, you know, he's got unproven with his bat. He's hit right around 300, and he's got, you know, extraordinary speed, but it's a matter of getting that speed on the base pass via walks and via base hits at the major league level, and some people say, well, just come up there and let him pinch run and steal bases in a playoff. Well, when you do that, there's only 25 spots on the roster in the playoffs, so you put an unproven bat in there, and you're taking away a proven batter who's been at the major league level and hit major league pitching for one to ten years. You're going to have to take somebody off that roster if you want to put Billy Hamilton on it. So uh, it appears that they have the idea of keeping Hamilton off the roster for the playoffs. I, I think that they would have fucked him up already and tried to get him some at-bats already with a month to go in the season. And I, I just don't see it happen. It would be great to see him steal a bunch of bases, but uh, I just think the smarter idea is to let him stay down in the minor leagues until at least next year. Well, I'm not a Reds fan, and I don't plan on converting, but uh, a lot of young, a lot of guys locked up by the Reds organization, so we could be talking about baseball in October for a, a few more years to come. Justin, as always, appreciate your time, and we will look forward to seeing you on Football Friday every Friday at 11.15 on ABC 13. And again, we'll week, Heritage and Lucy Glass, I'll be there, and we'll have highlights at 11.15, like you just said.